Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll go through everything about this uh, Apollo V series diesel heaters, so that you can know better about this product before you buy it. So let's take a look at this package first. As we can see, the main color is white, and we can see the company logos here and here and here. On this side. We can see some information like the website and the emails and the QR codes of social media. You can, you can scan them. And on the bottom, we can see the uh, certificates like FCC, CE, and Gross. So the whole package looks pretty neat to me. I like it. When you receive the product, you will also find these two things the instructions and the warranty card. It's highly recommended to read the instructions before you install or use the heater. And about the warranty card, you can see the QR codes. Scan it and you will find a form to fill in. These three QR codes will send you to YouTube and you can watch the videos to help you install the heater or solve the problem if anything goes wrong. And this is a heater. On this side where the label goes, we can see the rated voltage and the rated power of the, of the heater. Let's see, it's 12 voltage DC and 2.5 kilowatt. And this is the cable. You will plug it to the battery. One thing that is worth to bring up is the heat resistant copper. I've got lighter in my hand and we are going to see if it burns up. Let's see. No, nothing happens. So the cover is pretty good. Okay, on the bottom, we can see uh, this is the air inlet where the fresh air goes in, and this is the fuel inlet, and this is the exhaust outlet. Okay, now let's open the case. Let's see what's inside. Next, we are going to disassemble it and talk about everything that is used by this heater. Okay, let's talk about the case first. There are totally three cases that VVKB provides. This is the most common one, it is made of plastics. And these two are made of aluminum to have better effect of heat dissipation. The middle one is also processed under paint spraying. Uh, it is more good looking. I think it would be nice to use it on the boat. So that's pretty much about the cases. Okay, next I'll talk about the parts here and let's see what's special about them. First, let's take a look at these two things. This is the exhaust muffler. It is made of 3 or 6 stainless steel. The thickness of its shell is more than 1 mm. It's pretty, it's pretty good. And I think it can be used for quite a long time. And this is the air intake filter. It is very important to equip the heater with this because it can block the dust outside and to make the combustion clean. So let's see what's next. Okay, this is the glow plug. It is imported from Japan. The quality is pretty good, and it can be used for for quite a long time. Yeah. This is the fuel filter. It is used to block the particles in diesel and so, so the combustion can be clean and neat but it is, but it is highly recommended to change these parts uh, after use for like one year okay next is the control panel VVKB provides customers with the user friendly control panel it has many functions and easy to use customers can even switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit the controller uses the most advanced CAM communication tag 
to make the heater more sensitive to customer's operation. Okay, so about the about the mounting plate, let's see. There are two options for the mounting plates. Uh, the common one is the this one. It's two millimeter thick, and it is made of iron. It can be used for all kinds of vehicles. Yeah, and this one is made of stainless steel. It's more suitable for boats. Okay, now let's talk about the cable. We should know that there is about 10 amperes of current generating at the initiation of the heater. And the cable used by VVKB, which is 4 meters long with 25 square millimeters cross-sectional area, uh, it, it totally allows the current to pass safely. And as I mentioned before, the cover is made of heat-resistant materials, so it's very safe. And about the fuel pump. To precisely control the fuel output, VVKB use oil measuring fuel pump, which can reduce the fuel consumption and protect the combustion chamber from carbon accumulation. And uh, the rubber support can greatly absorb the vibration noise caused by the fuel pump when working. That's one of the tricks that VVKB use to make the heater work quietly. Okay, now let's talk about these three things. This is the exhaust pipe and this is the air in ducting and this is the air out ducting. So let's take a look at the exhaust pipe first. Most of the exhaust pipes in the market cannot reduce the exhaust noise and they are not flexible enough to install. Some companies use pipes with screw threads which can reduce the noise However, they are easy to break. According to those aspects, three engineers from VVKB spent six months developing a high-tech machine. The machine is used to produce high-quality spiral exhaust pipes like this one. It can cut the noise by over 10 decibels and it can take over more than 10 tons of high-intensive bending. Also, they are very easy to install. The air inducting has three layers, as we can see here. The one inside is aluminum foil, which helps extend the working life of the ducting. The middle one is paper, which is used to fix the shape. And the external one is made of plastics, which is used to protect the ducting from dirty water. The air out ducting, like air inducting, also has three layers. The aluminum foil layer uh, and the middle paper layer can largely prevent the heat from losing to the outside. So the users can enjoy the heat generated by the heater. The external layer uses good looking paper and is used for decoration. VVKB diesel heater use high quality brush electric machine with working life of five to eight years. The brushless electric machine is also available. All electric machines and fans will go through dynamic balancing tests to make sure there won't be much noise during high-speed operation. Okay, now let's take a look at the combustion. This is made of heat-resistant stainless steel. It will not be deformed by high temperature, even if it has worked for a long time. And this is the burner. It is formed by an uh, aluminum die casting machine with 1000 tons of pressure and further processed by CNC machine tools. Inside the burner, there are 20 pieces of heat absorbers, which can largely absorb the heat produced by diesel combustion. Okay, that's pretty much about the parts and I hope this video can be some help to you. Thank you.